In this pod, we'll find out about the novelist Zadie Smith. Zadie Smith was born in Brent in 1975 and grew up on a council estate, the eldest child of a black Jamaican mother and a white English father. She wrote her first novel, White Teeth, while still a student at King's College, Cambridge. It's an epic novel about multicultural London that traces the lives of three families in North London and Oxford from World War II to the end of the 20th century. On its publication, Smith was hailed as the voice of a new England and was listed as one of Granter's 20 best young British novelists twice, once in 2003 and again in 2013. In the two decades since her first book was published, she has written four more novels and become a leading essayist and cultural critic. As an essayist, she shares her reflections on society, particularly in relation to race, class, gender and ethnicity. In 2020, while living in London during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, Smith wrote Intimations, a series of six short essays inspired by the ancient Roman philosopher Marcus Aurelius, and a fascination with the idea that language has the power to form reality, not to describe it, to actually create it. Smith is eager to point out that she was a reader before she was a writer. She had read all of Shakespeare's works by the time she was 15 or 16. As well as Shakespeare, her influences range from poetry to hip-hop, and when she met influential American rapper Jay-Z, she said it was like meeting the romantic poet Keats. Smith has a keen ear for dialogue and is a brilliant storyteller, whether writing fiction or non-fiction. Her writing is informed by a sense of place, and she sees herself as a distinctly British writer, saying, In London, when you hear somebody speak, it tells you everything. It means up to and including differences in life expectancy, education, and what they do on a Friday night. Smith has said she doesn't mind if she never writes another novel, but she says she will always write and always be a writer. When thinking about the compulsion to write, she says, I write because it's a psychological quirk of mine developed in response to whatever personal failings I have. When writing, Smith tries to reduce what is unnecessary so that there is no barrier between the narrative and the reader. There is a sense in her writing of a desire not only to say something, but to say something that will matter to the reader, whoever that might be. The short story, Kelso Deconstructed, is based on the final hours in the life of Kelso Cochrane, an Antiguan carpenter murdered in Notting Hill in 1959. Here is an extract from the story. The people are Kelso and Olivia, a couple. The setting, a shabby rented room on the Bevington Road in Portobello. It was Kelso's room until five weeks ago when Olivia moved in. Kelso is from Antigua originally. He's a carpenter. Olivia is a trainee nurse from Jamaica. They are engaged to be married, although they will never marry. By the time the next sentence arrives, it will be Saturday the 16th of May 1959, the last day of Kelso's life. Smith is aware of the responsibility to the human being at the heart of the narrative. She says, My job is to display that terrible event but the moment you turn it into a story, you're turning it into a fable or a moral lesson. Can you admit the artificiality of it and not rely on the illusion of realism? People should read with their eyes open. 